Today we are going to present the hail bed. This is a walnut uh, hail bed and we have had some issues um, building the hail bed. So today I'm going to have Dave and Joe help me uh, with some quick tips on how to successfully uh, deliver the hail bed. As you can see right now they're putting in the lower side rail and one of the key tips to getting this in easily is loosening up the metal bracket. If there's any, any um, opportunity where it's it's too tight or not fitting in you can loosen up the screws on the side here which they have already previously done we've loosened them up and that'll give us enough slop to put this uh, side rail in and they'll tighten it up so we're good to go on this side we've got the the bed kind of in place so it's ready to stand up at this point we need to put the top kind of canopy pieces in so now we're ready to install the top kind of canopy rail as you can see we've got a small indent cutout right here and it is rounded on the bottom to fit in these holes here. Also what you'll notice here, footboard. This is going to go down in the footboard end. The, the other side that Joe is holding down there is going to say HB for headboard. And again, there's a smaller side. That is, you, you want to correspond with the top of the canopy here and a larger side. So they're going to slide that in. To finally put this canopy piece in, Dave and Joe are going to slide it in from the top. One of the uh, best ways to do that is to have two people doing it and sliding it together kind of makes it go down a little bit easier. Um, if you kind of have one person kind of in the middle, you're kind of having a, a little bit tougher time. So that, that is a two person job to make this uh, a little bit easier for yourself. So now they're going to slide that into the top and they'll need to kind of maybe gently tap that in. If it's uh, not going in right away, it, it should uh, fit pretty snug and that, that piece is in. And with the corresponding side, you want to make sure that that fits in properly. Some of the issues that we've had is this being turned around and put in upside down and there's a straight edge fitting into the lower rounded area. That could cause some damage to the bed or putting the headboard and footboard piece in incorrectly. But if you're kind of taking your time reading the headboard and footboard and making sure the notched out area fits in nicely, this should make for an easy delivery.